Hey, my name is uh, Trey Childs. I'm one of the radiation oncologists here at Alliance Cancer Care. We're the guys that use radiation uh, to try and kill cancer. Today I'm going to talk about a product that we use with prostate radiation. This is something to try and decrease the chances of having injury to the rectum from the radiation. So to make a long story short, it's a polyethylene glycol uh, hydrogel. The hydrogel is placed in the space between the prostate and the rectum. So what it literally does is that it pushes the rectum away from the prostate. Since the prostate's getting radiation, it's pushing the rectum away from the radiation. So here's some pictures to kind of give you an idea of what we do. This is a side cut and this is the patient's bottom. This is the rectum, the anus. And in between the prostate and the rectum, there is a very thin fat pad. That is one, two at most millimeters. And so what we try to do, well, what we do very successfully, I should say, is we use ultrasound guidance and we watch all of this live and I put a needle into that little bitty fat plane. And by putting it in that fat, I can visualize that I'm in between the prostate and the rectum. Then very carefully, and again, we're watching all of this live, I squirt some saline water. I squirt some water into that fat pad. We do this to make sure that when we put the hydrogel into that area, that it's going to the right spot. Once we make sure that it's gonna to go to the right spot, we then assemble the different syringes, kind of mix it together like you would expect five minute epoxy to do. And then when you squirt the two syringes in together, the hydrogel goes where the water or saline was going. This solidifies much quicker than epoxy. 15, 20, 30 seconds, and it's turning into a gelatinous substance like a real thick gummy bear. Take out the needles, make sure it looks good. You're done. This is a different graphic. Here's the prostate. Here's the bladder. Seminal vesicles are attached to the prostate. Here's the rectum. And that is the hydrogel as it is pushing the rectum away from the prostate. Prior to, the rectum was touching the prostate. After, the rectum is now separated by several millimeters, maybe even a centimeter. So it makes a big difference in the amount of radiation dose that's going to an area that we really want to protect. What you have in front of you right now is one slice of the three-dimensional treatment plan that we use to look at the radiation. We're looking at radiation covering the prostate. You can see the hydrogel in between the prostate and the rectum, and then you can see the rectum on the other side of the hydrogel. If you just imagine that the hydrogel is not there, then you can see where this color of radiation would be touching the rectum. But in this case, with the hydrogel, that color of radiation is only hitting the gel and not the rectum. Uh, after the procedure, you may have a little bit of tenderness down in your bottom where the needle was put in. You may have a little bit of bleeding. Usually a Band-Aid takes care of that. You may have some pressure because again, you're going to have a little thing that's about the size of a small balloon in that area. So you're gonna feel some pressure for a short period of time. But having done a, several dozen of these, this goes away really quickly. So I've done everything very quickly today. If you come in for your consult, we will go through it in much more detail. But I was trying to give you a brief overview of this hydrogel placement and why we consider using it in a lot of patients.